Welcome, everybody. Welcome to this randomised afternoon live. It's ten past one. I thought, why not um, do the live now? I've got lots to talk about and show you and stuff. And I wanted to test my new webcam to share with you in a sec. So if you're in the chat, do um, put your name in. Um, if you're watching... Give a few more minutes, people, to pop in for the live. I'll put it on Instagram and Facebook and all the rest of that. And we've also got a topic. How do you take your photos to make it more efficient, like for eBay, In um, if, if you're doing like Etsy, Depop, that sort of thing, let me know. Because it's always a thing to trying to save time by doing um, better photos, but quicker at the photos. Um, Because I've been using my phone quite a lot, and I'll tell you a bit what I'm hoping to do when I can. So do say hello in the chat, Um, and as I say, subscribe for more content on on this channel. It's per. Um, Right, for six watching, lovely. If you're in, do say hello. So it's it's the live stream 287, uh, 278, sorry, testing um, the web, basically... I was using a um, cheaper webcam off Amazon. One of the people, I think, I can't remember who, who let me know about it though. Um, Phil, Phil, Phil the coin guy and laser guy, Phil, let me know about this webcam. It's okay. It was like a like a big um, all round webcam. It was it was okay for like fifteen pounds or whatever it was. I thought right because my Logitech C920. Um, decided to pack up about what just under a year ago. I was like, great. Um, might have been like over a year ago. So I was, I've been looking for a web webcam, um, a decent one to use. So I went on to Facebook Marketplace. What about a month ago or so? Um, just to have a look, see what they've got. Um, yeah, it's almost a month ago now. Well, it's actually over a month ago. Um, I found one on Facebook Marketplace, a webcam, and a guy was selling one because I sent uh, some messages to a few people about webcams, and he had a C922 webcam, which is an upgrade to what I did used to have, C920. So 22 was okay, um, and it was 70 odd pounds plus on Amazon, Robin Bastards. But I managed to get it for £53.70 um, on Facebook Marketplace. And it actually works. The thing is about Facebook, trying to get um, sort of like stuff for yourself um, or to resell as well. Like, does it work? Is it going to turn up? Anyway, it did. And it had a little bit of musty smell to it, but I had it out in the um, conservatory for quite a, a while. Um this is what the box is like when it came. It's basically hadn't been opened the box. It's basically it was brand new. It had a little seal on the um where where it says the logo is Logitech. Um tends to be HD, all that, and it has this as well. Um like a little um tripod. I won't get it all out. It takes some mic and it back in, but there there's a little old tripod. So I was pretty happy, actually, with what I got purchase-wise for the C922 webcam. Let me know if the webcam's okay. <laughs> so I'm pretty pleased with... Um, well, it came with instructions uh, as well, but I know I'd say it was up like, simple as per. Um, let me get back in there. Oh, I know why. That's come out. Uh, one sec. Put the back in here and... Look, it's all the instructions that keep falling out of the thing. Don't really need the box, really, but hey ho, it's what it is. So I'm pretty pleased with the webcam, though. It's it's a decent webcam um, for what I've got now. Facebook Marketplace come up trumps once again. Um, put that down there. So I'm just gonna put it there for a sec. If you've got any questions, pop the questions in, and I'll answer them as much as I can. As I say, I'm doing a live now, testing the webcam, rather than do the live later on. So no live tonight, but I will be back 
next week for the live stream. Um, oh, I don't need these anyway. Take that. That can go in the bin. Put that on it. There we go. That's what I've got. The C922 webcam. The Pro Streamer webcam. Didn't cost mega bucks. So I was pretty happy um, with the quality and the, that I'm using now. Compared to the other one, which has got a bit, got, got a bigger um, view. There was a cheaply made one. Um, put it over there for now. That one's done. That one is done. Right. Oh. Right, we're good. So, folks. Right, next one is about a topic. Being more efficient in taking photos. I've been taking my photos via my mobile for quite a while. Um, years. And it's okay. I've used a varying... Um, load of um, tripods um, and for the phone. Because what I do, I've done for about a year and a half, two years now, is put one on for camera and put that to my um, SD card. Like, I've got one for camera, five photos for eBay, one for new eBay listings, because I was getting muddled up, which were eBay listings. And I brought one um, a for my phone, which I can use other, like a tripod, online on eBay for like £15 or whatever it was, something like that. A high level, um, teeth popping in, boxes turning inside out so I can use them for shipping. Yeah, um, I'm not sure that be any good, that one, but yeah, I'll keep it in mind. I always keep this stuff anyway, so... As a reseller, you, you sort of tend to. So I decided to buy this Young Teng, Japanese or Chinese model. Um, and because my other one that I was using broke tripod for my phone. And I was trying to get like a stabilized um, picture. Because I've, I've got lights and stuff and all the usuals. Here's the bit for the phone. You can use it for the phone. And here's the actual tripod. It's what I it's, it's an extender one. So what it does, um, you can extend it. Like you've got that's a bit for the camera, and you can plug this bit on there and use it as a phone holder. or put it like that, and put that down like that on the sides, like so. But with the extender. You can just extend it. It's it's very good good quality. On guard to show. That is so cliche. Woo! You, you can extend it quite a way. You can extend it even, even further. Just so if you want to do like long shots for eBay photos, then then the legs. A little bit flimsy the legs, don't get me wrong. But it's a decent um photo. It goes right down the bottom. As per, so you can even use it when you go out because it's it's not that heavy. Um, there is a battery there you can use, but I never bother with a battery. Don't even know what a battery is for. To be fair, not not even bothered to look it up. But that is is great because I, what I decided to do, I was looking up last night, is trial some photos using a camera, right? Because I noticed. It was taking me a little bit longer to do the photo, edit a little photo, stick a little bit of um, colour on it, and done. Because this, this camera is um, phone is quite old. It's a um, Samsung Galaxy A10, like three years old. It's very, very slow. So I didn't want to really use it too much. Per photo is all right, I, um, I suppose. But I wanted to check out this camera. Um, I used to use this camera for like um, eBay vlogs and that sort of thing and different types of videos, um, like day vlogs, that sort of thing, and talking to, to, to the camera. It's a Sony DSC HX99. I've got the 400V, HX400V, which is a bigger camera, which I use for my big vlogs. But it's a 99 camera. 
it's the standard camera for Sony range. Nothing special or high tech or anything like that. Um, it's um, a Zeiss um, there, and um, it's okay. Um, it was okay during the day in the light for the um, taking the video and that sort of thing and all that. And I thought, right, I can use that's okay. And then I, and I thought to myself, right, all right, right. Doing that, going, duh, 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 duh. Um, and I was, I was like, right, it's okay for photos and the video during the day. When it gets darker and you're in a dark room, then it's very grainy footage and photos are grainy. It's, it's, it's not great. It's not got a good lens really on it, um, to be fair, when it's dark. So that was poor. And the voice is like higher pitched. <coughs> if we go back to some of my older videos from like a year ago for day vlogs, or higher pitched. I didn't really like it. So what I've done is I'm just going to use it um, for um, eh, just like um, eBay photos. I need to put a new battery in that, actually. I can't turn it on and show you, but the um, battery's died. It needs to be recharged. I've got a load of other ones. So basically, what I'm going to do is use this. I'll put it to 1.1 1 .1, um, uh, frame thing because that's the one that it says on here to use. Um, well, I went on Google 1.1 1 .1, and I've changed it to aperture or something to take better photos. Aspect ratio take on a camera. 800, 600 pixels, and it um, says 1.1. Um, yeah, aspects, 1.1 aspect ratio, the squared photo. So I'm going to see if the camera actually going to do better because I'm never going to really use it for, e for, for vlogging anymore because it's not a great camera. But for photos, it's much better than trying to fill about with a slow phone Take a photograph, but it's, oh, it's blurry again. Even though if you're using that and onto this, and, and you can stabilize it with like your um, lights as well, making a good picture, I'd rather just have that. Let me know what you use a phone or a camera. Either or is good, just you need a good camera. Uh, mine's a uh, phone, sorry. If you could use a phone, mine's like raw date, proper light. I do need to get a new one, but I can't be bothered. Hi, internet, and simply Steve. Keeps everything in one place. Oh, it sure does, yeah easy and then what i can do is i can um plug the cable in um, which goes into the top here and then just put in the pc and um put the photos onto the pc and then then what i do i put all the photos i done um onto a hard drive because i've got a hard uh, external hard drive for the um photos now i used to do the photos um like about three months ago um via the eBay app, but I always found the eBay app was playing up all the time with the glitches via the eBay app, so I didn't bother. So now I take the photos, add them up to the PC, add them up to the PC via the um, eBay site, um, and then what I do, I add the, the photos from the PC up to an, an external hard drive, so I've saved them doubly. Um, because I do take them off the PC when I needed, don't need them on there. But I've got them onto hard drive as well. So if I need the photo, I can get the hard drive out and find which, which one it is, transfer it through. might take a little bit longer, but it's an easy way to do it. And it's better on the eBay app because you, you can do a colorization, that sort of thing. So, um, so it's easier to do all that particular with the camera and that. And this one extends quite a lot. It's on Amazon, if you don't know. It's a Young Teng... Um, a tripod because about fifteen pounds. I try to find a good one that you can it can extend up and go do really high if you want to do good high shots for photos. And you can even use it for like vlogging. That's why not. So that was cool, and I can use that for my um phone as well. But if I need to, I can put them the photos through the eBay app. If if I'm going out and I know I haven't got time to do it by the PC, I can do it by the app. But normally I'll do it by the PC. So let me know how you take your photos. Do you use a phone or a camera? or And do you have a tripod for the thing? Or do you use lights? Um, do you take your 
put your photos through via the PC or via the um, eBay app. Right, let me put that back through here. I'll, I'll, I'll show you a sec my new webcam box. <laughs> I'm using my new webcam. If you saw the other one, it was quite a wider shot one, a cheaper webcam. Uh, Neville says there, I use a phone. I brought a stand with a remote to take photos. My hand shake too much to do without it. Yeah, that's what I was thinking. Like, my hand was shaking quite a lot when I was doing it by hand. I did a few a few months ago by hand, and it was shaking quite a lot because I broke the other um, tripod. That's why I brought this one. But I'm going to try with the camera um, some photos that I've got, like, for example, um, with that sort of thing, games, Wii bundles, uh, and all that. So, yeah, it, it just takes practice what you feel comfortable with and what you use. I've seen George Ross, George Ross uses a camera. Um, I, was, I was looking to see what settings he was using because you do a 1.1 aspect ratio t to get it proper. If you use a big one, it'd be different when you upload it. But it, it, you want to be able to have the photo on the um, you've got your listing person be able to click onto it and zoom in as much as you can anyway um let me just pop that back uh that way there there we go that's that so yeah it's pretty versatile really hi roof thanks for popping in appreciate that um i say pretty versatile i'm happy with what i've purchased um a, a little while ago because about 15 pound on on amazon and if you want to know what a brand is, Young Teng. The YT-9928 tripod. Put that back in there. Oh, come on. Oh. Well, when you lie, you can never put anything back properly. That's better. There we go. Uh, well, let me just put that back there. So I've got a versatile thing. If, if I want to be able to do photos or stuff like that. Hi, Ruthie. Thanks for popping in. Appreciate that. So as I say, I'm not going to go live tonight. But this is the live right now. Do you ask me any questions? If you've got any questions, put them in. I'll try and answer them as much as I can. Um, if you've got 10 watching, brilliant. Fortune on playback. Let me know what you use for... Um, your photos, either a camera or a phone. Um, and you have a, have a tripod, lights, that sort of thing. Right, we're all good, I think. Put it down there. Lovely, I've got it back in. It's, it's an art to get it back in, like. There we go. Um. Ah, come on. There we go. Lovely. Put it back over there. For all those who missed about my webcam, just quickly go through. I've got a C922 Pro HD Stream webcam. I had the C920 um, since about 2017, and it broke last last year, I think, like uh, middle of last year, when it was. And, and I was chatting to David M um, from my island, uh, Northern Ireland, sorry. Um, and it wasn't, wasn't working properly then, but over a year ago now. So I had one that I got on Amazon for like £10. It was quite a big all-round um, picture, which is okay, but nothing special. I, just, I decided to have a look on Amazon. These are going for around £70 plus, too much for what I could, could afford. Um and also, I decided to have a look on Facebook Marketplace. There was a guy selling one for fifty pound, so fifty pounds. So he, so I messaged him to say, um, "Is it still av available? Could you ship it?" And it, it was fine. We had a good chat about the webcam. It, it came. It needed to be aired out, which is fine. It's basically like new. And I got £53.20, roughly. Um, uh, let's have a look. 
Fifty-three pound seventy. Um, that's postage, which um includes as as well. He was fine by that. So there we go. That's what I'm using, and I got a little stand inside. So I'm happy with that for the webcam because it looks better than the other one. Because I've got the other one as spare because you need near spare in case one goes down. A anyway, you never know. So happy with my purchase um, from Facebook Marketplace. But you never know with Facebook how good it's going to go because this um, Audio Technica um, microphone. The AT2020 USB mic I got off um, Facebook Marketplace for like £70 or whatever. Was it 70 or 100 Might be £100. Um, There's a really good microphone off Facebook during the pandemic 2020. So I was using another one and it was shocking. So I'm happy with that and the purchases. So you've got to be really careful on Facebook what you buy to resell and to have for yourself. Um, Antoine Daily there says, I use my phone and tripod now, but for years, use the camera. Yeah. If you've got a decent phone, then fair enough, like an iPhone or a new, new Samsung, like you get like ones with four or five um, camera bits. Mine's a A10. It's, it's okay. Like, for example, um, I sh I'll show you quickly if it likes to render through. Um, can we use my phone for like from 2017 um, with the photos? Um, let's have a look. That is like, for example... Um, oh, one of the f photos. Oh, look at that. That's quality camera work. Star you for with my phone. Normally that'll blur. That is quality. I love that. New, new webcam. Anti blur systems. That's on my phone. And then I've got like this, for example, which is sold. Not bad though for phone. I can still use the phone if need be. Don't get me wrong. I'm not against the phone. I just, I just feel this picture phone needs up upgrading. I can't be bothered yet to upgrade it. Um, so it's taken a little while because it's a, a slower phone. But if the camera doesn't work out right very well, because this is a Sony DSHX99 camera, and it's not a great camera for, for, for blogging, especially when it gets dark or you're in a dark room, very pixelated. It's okay in the light and that. It's got a higher voice with the mic. It's the um, mic's on to Where's the mic? Uh, mic's there, right at the bottom. It's like higher tone. See my older videos. That's why I use, use my GoPro or my other big camera. Yeah, it's a clear view. It is, yeah. Pretty much clearer than the other one. I know it focuses through, but they all do. I'm 1080p HD. Um, if, for example, the camera doesn't work as well as, for example, like taking a photograph of a CD, then okay. Just, I feel at the moment. My phone's quite slow. It's taking a little while to do photos. And even using the tripod, I can't get a good, um, clear shot sometimes. It takes like two or three um, times to do one photo. Because sometimes it gets very blurry. That's like one of the other photos. For, for Stone, I'll do. But yeah, I, I, I'll try it um, and see if it's okay. I tried it last night. But the light, I mean, in my room is quite um, too light. So I'll take care of Ruth. Thanks for helping in. Appreciate that. But yeah, I'll see how it all goes, for example. Um, it's, it's just I wanted to really save the memory on that and that sort of thing. But all these photos I've got, um, most of them are backed up. Because what I do, as if you um, haven't heard already, I... Take the um, um, do the photo, whether it's via that or where I'm doing via that. Take it and then 
because because I used to add up to the um, eBay app, but I found the eBay app was so hit and miss with the actual um, what's the word? Um, I'm trying to think, like glitches on eBay app, and sometimes sometimes they would go on, sometimes they would come off, sometimes they would get cut. It's, it was very annoying. So I just decided to add them up to the PC, then add them up from the PC to the eBay on the PC and go on the PC and do it. And then I've got an external hard drive so I can go through the external hard drive that way and add all the photos up to that. I could use Dropbox, but I can't be bothered to set it all up. So I've got an external hard drive for that. That's working okay at the moment. A little bit longer, but the photos look sharper, a lot sharper. So we'll see how it works out via that. Um, Simply Steve there says, the webcam is working pretty well, especially considering the bright light from the window behind you, which would normally darken you. Yeah, I don't normally do live streams during the day, to be honest. It'll be a uh, another test next Wednesday at 8.30pm UK time when it's darker and it, there's no light coming through. At the moment, there's light coming through, uh, as you can see. But I've, I've got the blinds closed. So, yeah, it's pretty good. I'm happy with the quality of it because the other one I was using, if you see my other videos, Steve, it was it was like a bigger all round, like a ball shape, bigger. But um, I didn't think the quality was that good, to be honest. But what I will do, I will try... Um, and sort out, um, like share the next week, next Wednesday, how the testing is going via the camera. If it's okay, if it's okay, then I'll continue. If, if I don't find it's okay, then what I'll do, I'll continue with that and keep doing it that way. But I do need to make more efficient for eBay because I find, I'm thinking that this is going to be like snap because I've got lights anyway, so that's not an, an issue. And I've got my little tripod, snap, Turn the thing around, snap, turn it around, snap. Instead of having to go and get it all snap. Oh, it's blurry again because crap. Put a PC on my PC first and then to eBay. Yeah, once um, I've done the picture on the phone or here, I'll transfer it ne Neville, to the PC. I never used to do that. Well, I did start doing that back in the early days. Um, and have like little folders for it, but I got out of habits and I'll just, just do, do it via the phone. But if, if I'm out and about, but I need some, I've got some, got some photos um, on my phone that I need to put for eBay, I can do that anyway. But normally I'll do it, um, take the photo, put it onto the PC, then put it onto the eBay. I, I always try and schedule, um, when I've got a load to go, try and schedule five a day when I've got a load to go. I'm trying to do some later on with the camera i've got another battery should, should be charged i've got charges battery up it's a, i forgot to put another battery in to show you but i put it at a 1.1 asset ratio which is which is like what ebay like anyway hey chris thanks for popping in appreciate that just talking a bit about the testing the new webcam logitech c920 webcam and also being more efficient in taking photos but yeah it's it's it kind of depends how long you're taking photos. Some people go just snap, 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 take two hundred in one sitting. But for some people, are more like oh, when I go snap, always oh, good photo. Again, little area. But um, let us know how many photos you take in one sitting. Is it like two hundred? I do do twenty and do it that way. I tend to do about fifteen to 20 and sitting when I get a chance this afternoon I've got a chance because I was out this morning um, so I just decided and also Chris I decided to do the live now test the webcam and decide rather than tonight so I'll be back um, um, next Wednesday at 8.30pm you just do one item at a time yeah if it works for you Chris that's fair enough um yeah whatever works for you you don't batch photo ah uh, fair enough yeah if you've got the time to do one photo and then a listing the photo listing and all that sort of thing that's great 
I tend to batch as much as I can, 15 to 20 up. Once I've done, because some people will batch photos um, before I've done listings and then they add them up as per by doing listings. I tend to do the listings and batch the photos because um, I even have to check the bits, check it anyway. Um, like, for example, like for example, these games I had to test. I had some more, but they weren't worth money, so they're going down the car boot. Hopefully, we're doing a car boot next Sunday, barring the weather. I should be going this Saturday to another car boot locally. Um, but yeah, again, to test these games, if they um, were working, then they were. So I did that, and then I done the listing. Now I'm going to photograph them. So I try and do like five a day, as much as I can with photos. Um, add them all up. It's just how it works. But if it works to you, like doing one at a time, fair enough. Because you do get some great sales, though, especially that tiki glass thing. Um, I would like to say I've never found, I've never seen tiki at a car boot or a charity shop or anywhere. But knowing me, I probably walk straight past them, tiki glasses. Um, nearest tiki place in Ballum, which is about 20 minute drive, um, going up to nearer London, um, as a tiki bar. I've ne never actually been to a tiki bar. I've had like, that type of, um, drinks, what Jason was saying, um, on, um, Monday night, which was a great live. Um, but I don't... <sighs> Sort of, sort of thing I never really thought about tiki stuff, like um, even that one you showed of Aku Aku from Crash Bandicoot. That isn't tiki as such, but it's like a a form of it, which you can put tiki in the title. But when when you're selling it, um, it depends, says Chris, on what stuff you sell, um, on whether you batch photo or not. Yes, that is true. Yeah, I go with that. Yeah. I'm sure if, if it's easy to um, batch, then you can like gaming stuff or bundles of um, football programs. Um, it normally, I think for me personally, it takes me probably an hour and a half, possibly between an hour and a half to two hours from start to finish. That that does does include I have to get up and do something or get up and answer an email message or this and the other to do fifteen to twenty photos in a batch. Um, but I'm trying to minimise that as as well because I've got a backlog. Um, well, quite a big backlog anyway. So, yeah, that's what I'm going to be trying to do. Try and look up Tiki and um send you a message on that when I find if I find one. I'll try and do that, um, Tiki, the weekend. Um, because I did that. Um, I'm still doing that when I buy this type beer steins, that sort of thing. Um, I never really knew much about it, but I learned. Um, learned about the Tiki, uh, Tiki, uh, the beer steins. That's another one I got a photograph today. A one liter, all washed inside. But as and there's another one I didn't even think about, like watching Jason thinking, hang on a minute, Jason's got a world best tiki collection, seriously. And he's he's on the top ten tiki collect um sellers on eBay, ones he's sold. But as I say, I didn't even realise. But fair enough. Um, because I know they do lots of different types of tiki from like Star Wars or um other things, and I've seen him about um, in restaurants and stuff, and in pubs, people have these type of things, but I've never actually found one, um, that, that I know of. I might walk past the tiki bit, but I see it, Carper. Yeah, I'm well. I thought I'd do another live just testing out the webcam. Um, T922 Logitech webcam. Hi, just me. Thanks for hopping in. Appreciate that. And also talking about being more efficient taking photos, which hoping to take photos on the camera. Um, Sony DSC HX ninety nine um, camera, rather than the phone. Phone's okay. It's just it's 
A, it's less time efficient for me personally. And I keep coming out a little bit blurry. Even even, even though I've got this. Um, Yuteng, Young Teng um, tripod, extendable tripod to use for either phones or, or the um, camera. We can put it at the bottom there, connect it um, there. So I, I'll see. Um, phone is perfectly fine if you've got a decent phone. This one's like three years old anyway. But I've got this nice one. It's about £15 on Amazon. Do check it out. Young Teng is quite a good um, strength for the um, use for a camera or a mobile phone. It's got a little attachment for a mobile phone. You can see it sends quite highly for photos. Yeah, I decided now, because I wanted to test the webcam, rather than do it tonight, it's working really well with the light here. Normally, there wouldn't be so much light during the evening when I do my lives normally at 8.30pm UK time, but I decided why not have an hour or so live. Um, right, let's have a look. Um, Tip Carper says there, I do all my photo first. I run and dual screen TV, have photos on one screen, eBay, on the other screen works for me, but everyone's different. Yeah, I don't have a dual screen setup myself, but it's good too if you can afford the dual screen setup to have photos on one, listen on the other, boom, boom, done, straight in, wallop. Probably easier. I think, think personally for me, I get confused that way, but if it works for you, it, that's great. Um, wasn't expecting you also to do my photos. Yeah, <laughs> fair enough. I decided why not to test the camera and sort everything else out. But as I say, it won't be live later. So no live later, but live now. Why not? Um, use a DSLR camera for my photos. Yeah, you use a bigger camera. Yeah, I've got a DSLR upstairs I use for my vlogging. This camera here, 90 DCH 99, is not great for vlogging. So I decided against that. So all my, quite a lot of my older videos were with this camera. And it's not great in the darkness. And in the light during the day, like now, it's really good. But the sound is like quite high up. It's a high up sound. I don't know whether it's a stereo or a mono. All I had to do is change it to um, one of the settings um, to make it the best quality picture I can get. And uh, and also to have it onto one point dot dot one. With a setting, um, app I think it's on aperture for the quality anyway. Um, because I look on Google last night about quarter to two in the morning and looking on um YouTube because I saw George Ross's video when he uses a, a camera, it, it, it looked quite good. Don't get me wrong, I, I still could will probably use phone at some point, it's just I found. It's not time efficient for me, the older phone, slower phone. Picture isn't so great. I have to do a lot of e e edits to the pictures. Um, 1.1, 1 .1, 1 .1 aspect ratio, like, like a squared photo, um, which I've got it on here. I'm going to test that, see if it's okay. Um, see if that's okay. I'm actually, I'm actually, first, I'm actually going to do one photo or something and test it before I batch photo um, 15 to 20 items I've got needed to do later. So I'm going to quickly test that after this live because if I do the batch and, and I do um, trying to put it online and it doesn't work properly, then I know it's in the wrong setting because I'm not clued up with the settings anyway. Um, so cool. Um, yeah, cheers. Yeah, I, I paid... It was seventy pounds um, via Amazon, seventy to hundred pound on Amazon. I thought, no, I'm not, I'm not paying that. You go, no, so I looked on Facebook Marketplace. Same where I got this little beast, the Audio Technica microphone, the USB Plus version. I've got it for about hundred pounds, barely thereabouts, during the first lockdown, twenty twenty. I decided to look at the webcams, the lead. Logitech um, C922, because I had the 20, um, and it packed up over a year ago. 
and I, I couldn't get it working, so I, I haven't chucked it. I kept that just in case I can get it working, but I haven't tried. I, I got an, uh, um, a cheaper version that was recommended by Phil, um, Laser Phil, Coin Phil. That worked okay. It's a bigger all-round picture, but I didn't think the picture was that great. Um, this is a 1080p HD quality Logie with Logitech. Um, and I was chatting to a guy on there um, about beginning of, of, of May just to see if he'll ship the camera to me. And he said he shipped the camera to me. Um, let me have a look to see how much it's going to cost. It cost him six pounds something to ship this camera because he was using specialized raw mail. I, I didn't say nothing. He charged me fifty pound for the camera and three pound seventy for the shipping. Even, even though he'd um, lost out on shipping, but he said that that's he said that's fine. Uh, and it, it came in a few days. I, I just had it sitting in the conservatory at the packaging because it had a little bit of must. Um, it was basically like new. He looked at it gently, took it out because it was still um, sealed and all the tape, uh, all the um, uh, little bits were on the to cable ties and the little um, plastic bit on the webcam as such was still there. But I got rid of the must and it's perfect, it works all fine. So they do come at Trump's marketplace, but it's a little bit hit, hit and miss what you can get. Um, Morning, Todd, over there. It's afternoon here. Welcome, welcome. Appreciate that. Hopefully you're well. Um, but I have seen your videos from when you um, saw your mum. Um, that was some great videos from there and how she does a, a reselling. Hi, Neil. Thanks for watching, Neil. You really enjoyed your last vlog. Ah, yes, that was from Carl Shorten. Um, basically called Carl Shorten Village. Um, Carl Shorten's quite a big area. If you look it up on um, Google Maps, Carl Shorten, um, it's a really nice place. Near where I went, there's a place called the um, Ponds and also um, the Grove. <sighs> Which I will, I'm going to in the next vlog. Um, let's have a look. Car short on ponds. It's one of the areas that I wanted to do for a while. Um, car short on pond. It's got the Honeywood Walk, the Car short on War Memorial. I didn't go to the Eulogy Centre or the Honeywood Museum, so I didn't get time. But I went round the um, the Grove, saw the water mill. Um, it's quite big. You'll see that in the next video. Um, but I'm. Oh, thank you very much. Uh, let's just hide user on the channel. Um, I wanted to do that, and then obviously I'm hoping to go to a car boot on Saturday, when I get a chance. Um, not sure Sunday yet because me and Mum may be doing the local car boot to get rid of some stuff. I got some stuff like um, those ties need need to go. I got some of these cards. Um, for example, I brought over a thousand like match attack type cards, football like soccer ones. If you if you're in the US, oh, of course, yeah, Neil, yeah, of course, Neil. I didn't realise you wasn't. There we go. Um, that I'm taking down to the um car boot. So I worked out a price in stature. I got over a thousand of these. Um, so twenty p per card per normal non shiny 50p for a shiny if they buy 20 or more they get a, they get a deal so i'm happy to just get rid of them i paid 40 pound um through another reseller who was getting rid of them i've made five in profit so far so i should be able to get a hell of a lot for these i've got a thousand literally I still haven't sorted out um some of the cards anyway but they'll be going down the car boot Um, basically, I took out the good ones that were left in there. Like, for example, got Cristiano Ronaldo's, Sterling's, Suarez. Um, 
Lionel Messi, that, that sort of thing. I actually sold Cristiano Ronaldo on um, oh, a bid, but that's the first one that sold. So, yeah, let me just go past that. Yeah, I, I was a lovely deal. Yeah, always looking out for deals. It, it took me a while, so I didn't have much chance to look through it. But I looked through it one evening and done. There we go. Um, lights are your friend. Use almost any old junky camera. Get the photos right in camera. I have no time to edit photos. I can understand that. I used to edit quite profusely on this phone. Um, go through lights, settings. It takes so long. What I'll do, I'll just whack it like that. Done. I, I've got lights anyway. Um, that I use. So with the like I'm mean, usually during it during the day anyway for the um uh, photos anyway. So yeah, they, they come out pretty all right. Better than what they used to when I first started, of course. Um, yeah. Cheers, Sukarpa. Yeah. I, um, they were not cigarette cards. What I said in the video, but I did put it what they were. The, the PG tips cards, the um T cards used to get. Some had a whole set of them. Got like some sports stars, American sports stars. Um, got like plants, trees, I think. Something like that. quite a lot of them. But I need to go through them and have a look to see um, roughly uh, value on those. Because some of them are like doubles and triples and that. So I'll bundle a load a anyway. I'm happy 99p each for the cards. A anyway. So, pretty sh yeah, I didn't find too much. But I did, was going to go on the beer steins, but I had, had a load here and I decided against it. I wasn't sure when I get round to selling them. So I'd left them. So I'm being a little bit more selective at the moment. Not too much, but a little bit more selective. And the um, other board games in the last Oxfam I didn't, but because I had some risk at the at the back, style was risk for like twenty pounds. I'm thinking behind the counter. I was like, no, go away. But yeah, oh well. Anyway, let's put that camera back in there. I'll do a, I'll do a photo after live, and when I get another battery inside it, and then what I'll do is go and um, sort that out, see what I can do um, with photo. See if it's in the right um, resolution. On the camera. Um, thank you very much. Some silly people on the live. Um, so, yeah. So, got any questions? Put questions in. Um, and let me know. The next video from me will be from a park in from Carshalton called The Pond and also The Grove. Brilliant place. Only been a couple of times. Um, I think that's my second time going. I, I went, went went once when I was a kid. So I got family who live in in Upper Carshalton. Um, had Jasmine Max popping in. Appreciate that. So that'd be that. And then obviously, I probably do it on Friday actually, because it's a bigger vid vlog. I try and edit the vlog down because I was <laughs> it, just a little bit of heads up on the on the video because before, if you've seen a couple of my Christmas videos. I went to Kingston upon Thames where there's a church and there was this one or two squirrels and they come up to the camera both years and wrapped on the camera. And I got up up close and personal to two or three squirrels and they're eating their nuts. It was beautiful, literally. I can't I'll see how good it was. But I love learning the research. So even when I did the one from Carl Shorten, I had a lot of research because there's a play um, site on there called Speech Yellow. SB. Um, the... yeah, speech Yellow. An AI text speech. Um, here it is. If you want to do it for your videos. Ah. Um, uh, monkey thrifter, um, there, 
has showed me. There it is there. It's the AI. Um, switch yellow. Guarantee voiceover. I've got the standard package. One pack um voiceover. A uh, one payment voiceover. You can you can do it like um for us UK we've got got two you can use, a man and a woman. It's great. You learn a lot of I, I actually learn a lot from it. A monkey fifth of Pete, he brought me onto it. And I love use, using it to learn about the area. Um, just for my um, outside vlogs and one that I do for like chat shops. If I go into car boot, the Dainito or other things, just if, if I'm going somewhere where I've got great his history, because obviously a lot of you, a lot of you legends have been to these places and you're learning as, as well as I'm learning. Um, Uh, so, oh, um, I know what you mean, Jasmine. I didn't come down, Jasmine, um, to to Brighton. Basically, that footage, um, I think you're talking about was the one from Derek Payne and Richard Payne, which was Derek Tap Peddler. Um, let me have a look. It was for the um, London to Brighton mini run, I think. They were doing a London to Brighton mini run. It started at Nonsuch Park, just John there. I went to see them. They allowed me to use that footage um, on the, what Derek recorded. And they went down in Richard Mini to, to Brighton, saw... Um, Richard Knight's life, um, and they allow say they allowed me to do the footage, so I didn't come down, but Derek and Richard did come down because Derek came from Scotland to do it. Um, trying to think, I as I say Richard Knight's life got a meet up on twenty third at Little Hampton. If you, if you contact Knight's life, Richard. He'll tell you all about it in July 20, 22nd, uh, 23rd, sorry. I'll be coming down on 22nd um, to Little Hampton. No, actually, no, I'll come down on 21st because there's a lot in Little Hampton that I would love to, to do. The fun fair rides, arcade, charity shops. Um, but I didn't come down, no, for that. But Derek and Richard did. Um, okay, fair enough, yeah. As I say, um, Night's Life, Richard is doing a meetup in Little Hampton, which is not far from Brighton. Um, on the 23rd of July, which is in about over a month's time. Um, yeah, it's not that far, really, from Brighton. And then some Instagrammer, Flourish and you are doing an Eastbourne meetup on the 9th of July in um, Eastbourne. So that's not even that far either. So I'll be down at some point in July, either at Littlehampton or Eastbourne. Um, hopefully get to, get to both for the... Um, Meetups. All right, so Carpo, take care. Uh, appreciate that, mate. So yeah, pretty much for for that. Um, but yeah, hopefully from down, I um will be able to um come down and meet you. Just just let me know. Just um Facebook me. Just, I will never remind me and that sort of thing. So, right, I've talked about the webcam, great webcam. Be more efficient taking photos, which I say I'm going to try and do on, on my, um, uh, um, uh, camera. So, if I remember, I'd try and let, let you know, um, even a day vlog if I do one before or next Wednesday night live, yeah, yeah, I say just, um, let Richard know. About that, um, nice life. If we if we want to go along, because I found it a nice little 
I think it's B and B hotel -y thing that's near the um rise because I used to go down to Littlehampton um quite a lot. Um, when I was a kid, I used to go with parents and uh, a, a little club I belonged to that my mum run. Um, we used to go like Littlehampton, um, South Sea, Portsmouth. I've I've, I've been all along the South Coast. I've been to Eastbourne, I've quite done Hastings. I've I've done New Haven, Worthing, Ammering, Walton Road, Selsey, West Rutton, East Wittering, Gosport, Port Island, Hailing Island. I love it down there. Because back in the day, when I was a teenager, mid two thousands, mum and dad had a caravan, um, caravan in Bracklesham Bay. And we used to go all all around to little old Bosom, South. Um, Mudham, Chichester to the, to the um, shops. We used to go to day day like to the fun fun land um, at um, Hailing Island with friends and family. Portsmouth, Worthing, all sorts. Tangmere because they got like a nice little sort of aviation museum in Tangmere. It's a lovely place. It's not that far, a couple of hours, so easy enough to get to by a car and train. So yeah. Um, we have both been to Bracken Bay. Yeah, it's a beautiful place. So we have had a, we had a caravan, a Holdings Park caravan place, um, right at the back years ago. But we had to give it up uh, up again. Couldn't afford to rent. We had it for about five years. I didn't really appreciate it. Well, more than five years. Might be seven. Well, I didn't appreciate it so much uh, as I would have now. My auntie also had one for their micro light. Fair enough. Yeah, that's fair enough. Yeah, I appreciate um for that. As, yeah, it's, it's always good though to um be able to get down to meetups and such. Uh, and that. So I think that's it for now. Um, I'm just trying to work out. I know the from the other camera that I've been using, the cheaper one, it's all around camera, a bit bigger, shows you more of the room, but it, it doesn't do that, it focuses. This, this focuses a little bit, which is fair enough, but it's decent. I'll, I'll test it next Wednesday night um, for the live. Not tonight, though, because I'm not, not live tonight, so I did post an Instagram about that. So... There'll be there should be a video on Friday from the Car Shorten um the Grove and the Ponds. Um Car Shorten Ponds. Um outside interest video. And then obviously I'll be should be out fingers crossed touch with the weather. Uh, should be out car booting on Saturday to another car boot. And then on Sunday possibly be selling at a car boot, selling some a tiny bit of my eBay stuff I can't get rid of. Uh, people probably buy at the car boot. Thanks everyone for popping in. Appreciate that. We're nearly at the hour. We had about 15, 20 at one point. Cheers for, for knocking out the troll or trolls. Um, all I say is uh, I've got Instagram, Facebook, a Ko-Fi page where you can buy me a coffee and an eBay store, all in the description below. And all I leave you to say is um, if I can find where it is, a banner, like, share and subscribe. And keep subscribed for more content on this channel, Peter Ray's Adventures. And I'll see you next video. Cheers, everyone, for popping in. Much appreciated. Take care. See you next week. I'll see you in the next, next video. Take care.